Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows two fetal anomalies, fetal abdominal cyst and limb reduction with pregnancy of about 17 weeks. A fetal abdominal cyst is a liquid fit structure seen within the baby's abdomen, usually found on routine ultrasound before birth. The location of the cyst often suggests from which organ the abdomen uh, in the abdomen the cyst originates. You can see the fetal head and the placenta. The placenta is posteriorly attached. The fetal fetal head looks echo normal. Fetal abdominal cysts are rare and a few cases have been described in the literature with recent advances in ultrasound techniques and increasing clinical experience, routine ultrasound screening has facilitated the early detection of fetal structural abnormalities. Again, you can see the fetal cardiac activity. The placenta is posteriorly attached. Sometimes fetal abdominal cysts go away on their own before birth and don't require treatment. At other times, some newborns require surgery, cystectomy, to remove a cyst causing symptoms. If we cannot remove a cyst completely, we may drain it or remove portions. You can see the fetal spines. And now you can see the fetal abdomen and a large cyst is seen. Doctors often find cystic hygroma before a baby is born. Only 1 in 8,000 babies in, is born with this kind of cyst. Some of them may also have certain birth defects. So if your baby has a cystic hygroma, your doctor will probably suggest tests to check for other anomalies. But this is a cyst seen in the fetal abdomen. Quite a large cyst, more than five centimeter in diameter. This is the cyst. The cyst is round to oval in shape and has a clear fluid in its interior. Now you can see the cyst measures more than 5 cm, 5.8 cm into 5.5 cm. Surgery is the most common treatment for cyst and results are generally good. Some cysts may require more extensive surgery in order to repair complex problems involving many organs. However, some abdominal cysts go away on their own before the baby is born or may so small that they do not require surgery. Now you can see the femur, both the femur are visible. Now, you can see the femur, both the femur are visible, but the distal portion of the legs are not seen in this position.
Now the other fetal anomaly is the fetal limb reduc reduction. As you can see, the one leg shows some is looks to be small sized. Both the legs are small sized. Upper and lower limb reduction defects occur when a part of the entire arm, upper arm, or the lower limb of a fetus fails to form completely during pregnancy. This defect refers to as limb reduction. because a limb is reduced from its normal size or is missing. Some of the congenital deformities of the lower limb include most commonly congenital telepus equinovirus. Congenital telepus equinovirus, commonly called the club foot, is the most common and obvious of all the foot deformities. Now the cause of the congenital limb defect is unknown, however, risk factors that may increase the likelihood of a congenital limb defect include the conditions such as genetic abnormalities, growth restrictions, mechanical forces, that affects the baby and the uterus during the development. You can find a brief description in the description of this video about these anomalies. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel if you do like this video. Please click the like button. Thanks.